Hey, so in this video, we're going to scrape all of the YC companies out there. Uh, so YC, also known as Y Combinator, is one of the most prominent tech accelerators. It's actually probably the, the leading uh, startup tech accelerator of the world. As you can see, a lot of big names have already been a part of it in previous cohorts. And so you likely uh, know some of these brands. Uh, and then, you know, when you look at kind of more recent cohorts, you may not recognize any of these. And so these are companies that will kind of come to be and be, um, you know, you'll likely know in the coming years. And so they can be great companies to reach out to, um, to, uh, you know, offer your services. Uh, so, you know, we've had the chance to work with a handful of uh, YC companies in the past always is, uh, you know, pretty fun and exciting as they tend to be quite innovative, uh, lots of growth potential. And so, uh, we're going to show you how to scrape all of them and enrich them with contact data so that you can run your outreach. Uh, so one thing you'll notice here, there's about like 5,000 companies in total. Um, however, it's going to cap your view to about a thousand companies, um, so you're going to have to run this in five batches if you want all 5,000, but you can also filter them by industry and or, um, you know, region or uh, location. So, and then there's some other filters as well. So know that um, you don't have to skip all of them and you can really filter it however you need. But here, uh, we're just going to try to do it in its first batch just to kind of show you the process. So again, we're going to try to roughly get like a thousand um, within this first scrape. And then we'll use this tool here, Instant Data Scraper. It is going to capture this page and um, start scraping for all of these uh, companies. And then you're going to want to make sure that infinite scroll is, is clicked so that um, it knows how the, the page is structured and will continue to run down the list to continue scraping it. So we're just going to run that. And then um, as that's running um, in the background, uh, you know, we'll, we'll fast forward um, to, to the next steps from there. All right, so what we got here is um, our list, our thousand that we're looking to scrape from this page. And so we got all this data. And then, so we're gonna download this, download this into a CSV. I already jumped one step ahead. I have it all here. Um, you see we, that we have some, you know, decent data to work with. We got company name, you know, company description, the cohort, um, you know, category or industry they're in. And um, you'll see that there's some external links as well, or internal, at least to the Y, Combin uh, y Combinator pages. So um, what you'll notice is, um, even though we have the company name, you know, you can map this to decision makers if you want to. However, with a lot of the methods that we use, we actually like to map it on the domain level. And so a lot of times when you scrape, you may have the domain um, available, um, you know, from that page uh, that, that you're scraping from. Other times it's often that, you have profile links or some sort of, you know, link that you can click into that will provide that individual records, um, you know, external domain. So we're essentially just going to try to find all the domains of this by exploring the Y Combinator profile for uh, each of these companies. So um, of these different um, fields of data, it's actually going to be this field right here. So you'll see that, um, there's other data that we can extract here and we'll show you what that kind of looks like, but you know, there's more about the company. There's information about the founders. looks like there's some social posts. Um, you know, there, there's URLs of their uh, social links and then the domain that we of course need, uh, you know, first and foremost. So what we're going to do to obtain this is we're essentially going to be using Octoparse, which is this tool right here. But first we're going to need to, um, grab, the entire field of data of all those uh, company profiles. I want to copy that here. And then you're going to want to go into custom task. And then we're just going to paste those. And then what we have to actually jump back up to get rid of this top row. And then we'll just click save. Okay, so it clicked into the company profile page. And what it's going to do is loop into each one of those domains from that list. So you don't need to do much else from there other than essentially click into the fields of data that you want to extract. So we're going to click into here. Um, I believe it's going to be extract data. And then we're going to start clicking the field of data that we want to, uh, that we want to obtain. So, you know, you can again, grab any of this stuff, essentially, if it starts to um, highlight that, that element, then you can scrape for it. But for this um, demo here, we're just going to take the LinkedIn, LinkedIn company name and we're going to take um, this domain as well. So I think what we want is the 
element data, and then we're going to click run. Okay, so this sometimes happens. I have um, other tasks. Um, we're just going to delete one of these. And then we should be able to go back here and run this. Standard mode is fine. Um, we have a free plan, by the way. Um, most of what you'll want to do is on the free plan anyhow. So unless you're doing some like really, really heavy scraping, um, you could probably get by just with the free plan. And so, yeah, you're seeing that starting to, to, gla uh, to grab these, um, these pages. So let's just make sure. Yep. So everything seems to be working right. Um, this is going to, you know, of course, take um, a handful of minutes. So I will come back to the video. All right. So going over here, you will see uh, that we got all thousand of our records uh, processed. So we got both their domain and LinkedIn company URL uh, from those uh, YC profile pages that we were looking to scrape that information from. And so we're just going to want to go ahead and export this. You're going to want to keep the duplicates because we're actually going to want to append it and keep the exact same order uh, of each of those records, um, which you'll see what I mean in, in just a second. So we'll click export all, CSV, just do YC scrape bad one. And then we will go back to our table and then we're going to import that, that list that we just completed. insert new sheet, and then we have both those fields of data we need. That one got thrown in there by accident. And so we're just gonna take these two, copy them, and then just paste them here. And you'll see they all line up. Um, so you can quickly spot check them and you'll see if they match the, the, the company name matches the, the domains for the ones it was able to capture from those profile pages. And if they didn't have a URL, um, a lot of times you'll see that they, you know, tend to be um, not usually startups uh, that are still around or, um, you know, they're not any of the more well-established ones. So I wouldn't worry about that. But what you'll do now, you want to just title that uh, because you'll at least want this as a point of reference. So, you know, whether you're using Apollo, Clay, or our software, um, that's going to allow you to map it to those accounts. And then, you know, from there, be able to find all the decision makers you need. So if you're using our software, it's pretty straightforward. It's going to, you know, reference all those domains, map it to key decision makers that you specify. And uh, mind you, we have a, a industry high email and mobile match rate. I can even show you a quick sample here. Let's just, uh, just grab a set of domains. Looks like. So it's going to map that, say scrape and rich, do I see, say CMO, founder, CMO. Oh, we already have that, um, CEO. And then let's see how many we can find of, um, how many of these contacts we can find for these 23 records we have. But yeah, we need to specify how many we want for, for each company, how many contacts we want for each company. So it looks like we're finding a few here. And so, yeah, you can process all that list and any others you do through YC. Um, but again, you can use our software. There's other means um, and other softwares you can use to do it too. We tend to think ours is um, the easiest um, and again, really effective of finding uh, the right contact data you need. And it's all going to be valid as well. So let me know if you have any questions as you begin to search for that. Yeah, it looks like we already found 32 contacts. So uh, yeah, let us know if you have any questions as you, as you get that uh, part of the process started.